What's up guys? Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. This is take three for this video because I, I needed to collect myself. I needed to get myself thinking straight, figuring out what the hell just happened here with the market. Uh, anybody who hasn't seen it yet, everything on Binance, and I'm assuming that the majority of the market dropped over 10% almost immediately. I mean, look, my, my, everything is red. And this is already rebounding. This is, I mean, Bitcoin went down to 51000 Band went down to $15. One was down to 12 cent or 12 even. Ravencoin went down to like 16 Let me see, where, how far did Raven drop? Raven was in a big peak. Like they, they were, Raven was having a strong day. It was like up 25%. And then... It dropped down to 16 cents. It peaked at 25 and dropped down to 16 cents. It's going to finish a day probably even. It's going to pick back up and and probably go long. Uh, this this is going to be this is the day of the triggering stop losses. This is what this was. Um, guys, no intro, whatever. Uh, no song and dance intro. Uh, this is. Today was a stop out. It was a stop out. And I don't know how it was coordinated through every every market on here, every coin. But watch. Um, I'm going to talk about two specifically today because I was already planning on making these videos, but I don't think it changes. I don't think that today it changes any of the outlooks. It might just... it. This is going to be a blessing in disguise. This red day for anybody who's holding and didn't get stopped out. I hope you didn't get stopped out. For anybody who's holding, it's going to be a blessing in disguise. In disguise, we'll start with one. So, one. We did the Fibonacci retracement, and it and it hit the fifty percent line, and this is the second time it hit the fifty percent line. So, this here. I think the second hit on this long, long wick, I think I think the price rebounds quickly before the end of the day. I think we get back up close to even and we make a massive hammer. And we've seen that typically when you make massive hammers, the market rebounds very quickly. Also, it's the second time touching the 50% line. And we were going from... 38.2 and we have been holding support resistance here 38.2 now typically if you're if you're buying in here If for somebody uses the Fibonacci levels or similar or levels levels similar you buy in here and You're probably going to set your stop loss Because this was a resistance. This was an obvious resistance that got broke and it was a support that got made for this really weak or this really bad candle so if you're buying in here I'd like to set your stop loss around here, or maybe just slightly below. You might go a little bit below this candle. This was a stop loss eater. This thing went through a full level of support and almost hit a second level of support. This is a stop loss eater. I think this was a whale dip, and I think it was intentional. I hope not. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, but it, it, it feels way too calculated, way too coordinate it for every market that's to lose its money that quickly and if you can't hear me i just did a thanos snap because that shit was like half half the value of the market gone corrections need to be made it's simple calculus that's enough thanos for me i'm not going to do any more uh, that wow mark you're not that funny yay um so yeah, same analysis still applies. I just think it happens sooner. I think we were making a nice consolidation here and waiting to break out of this this bull flag. You know, we we're making a bull flag, our, our, our retracement coming out to the 50% level, making this bull flag type pattern. And we were starting to really kind of push upward. We weren't falling. We were sitting on that 38.2 line and we were going to consolidate on that 38.2 line until that crossed this dynamic resistance line and we broke it and break out test it and then boom 
Um, but I think I think nothing changes as far as the outlook. We're looking between the 28 cent range to 32 cent range. I think we are probably more likely to hit the one than the 78 uh, percent. I think we hit I think we hit 100 percent here. I very think I think it's very easy or not easy. I, I easily believe that we hit the uh, 32 cent range or 33 cent range. Let's call it let's round it up to 33. Um, so with that, um, real quick, I want to take a look at H bar because H bar is another one that you know I got into and it's below my buy in at 32 cent. And again, look, it's the same thing. We were sitting around. Oh, well, actually, we had we had broken resistance here, and we lost it. And we were coming back to the to the 32 cent range. We're coming back to the 38.2, 38.2 level. We had had it be a resistance here, broke it, and it was a support for a couple of days. And we were bringing it to the next level. We were coming back for a retest here, and broke 38.2, broke 50, almost got down to 61 percent. So again, if you're trading here, or if you're even buying in at here at the 38.2 line, you're setting your resistance below this last support. You know, it was support here, it was support here. You're setting your stop loss. I think that's the resistance, but you're setting your stop loss below this line. But you're probably not going to go all the way down to 61. You're not. You're probably not going to go that low. You're going to set your stop loss somewhere around 26, 27 cents. And you got stopped out. Sorry. If you're still in H bar, H bar is looking good because it's been making a big, you know, flat here and kind of a descending triangle, which I think it's going to, I don't think it was ever going to come back and retest this, this bottom. I think we were going to kind of go like this, and that was going to be our bottom support. And we were kind of going like this, but I don't think we were ever going to get back to that. I think we're going to, you know, maybe get to this level where we're at now. I, I thought this day would stop here around 32 cents and then test back up and likely test back up and, and break out kind of early on this. Um, but I think it's, I think it still does, but maybe a little bit farther out. I think, you know, maybe we get out to about here before we break it out. So it kind of extends out a little bit. I mean, we're looking at, you know, end of April for a nice big breakout here. All right. And the last thing I want to do is I want to look at Bitcoin because I want to keep this relatively quick. And I've been able to maintain my composure. So... I'm happy with that. I think I kind of goose-frabbed myself back to um, being a little bit more closer to okay. But this, you know, this like this are kind of scary. And I'm just being honest with you. They, they suck. All right. So this, even before this day, we were kind of coming down and, and we broke back into that wedge. I mean, we, we got out. We retested it. We were out. We should have gone up, but we didn't. We kind of hit a, we hit a lower low, here. You know, it's easier to see the four. I'm gonna switch this to the four-hour chart because it's gonna be easier to see the lows and highs. So, you know, here's our sixty-one thousand mark. We topped it, and remember, we never really sold off on the last tap. We never sold off, and we stayed right under it, and then we broke through. We broke through, and we came back and tapped it. And once we tapped it with this wick, we should have made a new higher high. We should have been up to around, you know, 65, 5, 66,000. It didn't happen. It got truncated. It, it, it was a lower high and then followed by a lower low. It broke through the support, but the support held and, you know, we bounced right off of it and went green again. We, we bought up above it again, but again, a lower low or a lower high. And then proceeded by a lower low, and this became resistance. About it, it got so far, it went so far below it that it became resistance again, and didn't buy out, and then sold back down off of it. And then this, I mean, you see here on the four-hour, this candle just went nutty, 
And you see just how far this thing sold down with it. 50, 51, 7. And I, I, I'm hoping this gets back up into this wedge. I really do. I think it does. I think, I think this buys back up into this wedge and we start following, not wedge, but this bull flag. And the reason why I'm not too concerned about this being a market reversal is because it's happened multiple times similarly in this run up. I'm going to go back here. You know, we were running up and we came down to a low and we had a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. But during this pattern, we were also in a uptrend, you know, an easily, easily identified uptrend. But you see the uptrend starting to kind of curl a little bit. It's starting to flatten out, which is still a little scary. I just don't think it's done yet. I don't think the uptrend is done yet, but I think we're close. Um, but again, we, we made this same bull flag pattern and broke out. And we had a very similar day here. It was this uh, February 22nd. Uh, seven, seven o'clock to eleven o'clock, so seven a.m. to eleven a.m. This thing sold down a ton. I mean, it was another one of those super long wick, super long sell downs that just kind of immediate sell and then back up. I mean, this thing opened at fifty four thousand, had a low of forty seven thousand, high of fifty four, and closed at fifty three. Think about that. In four hours, from fifty-four thousand four ninety-one of the open down to forty-seven thousand three hundred. It's a nine thousand dollars sell-off. It recovered, but this one was from sixty to fifty-one. A nine, nearly a nine thousand dollars sell off, so I'm not, I'm not too scared with that right now. Um, it, it's happened before. Um, so again, guys, I think as long as we, we, as long as we recover from this, for the most part, from the day, we don't have to, we don't have to fix the day. We don't have to have the day be good, green, or whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be a green day. I'm not a fan of Green Day, but I like I like Green Days. This doesn't have to turn green, but if we get back near that wedge and we make a big hammer, if this turns into a massive hammer or multiple charts, this could be the type of trigger from my last video that sent multiple coins on a 100% upswing run. Now, Bitcoin, I don't expect 100% because it's Bitcoin and will run, but it, it won't run at the same rate that the altcoins do. But this could be a massive hammer formation for a lot of coins on a daily chart that creates an up run. I mean, it is very easily could, or it could be something where it looks like this, where it's almost a hammer and then just a big buy pull pressure up. We will see. I mean, we will we'll definitely see. I mean, days are going to come. The caravan is going to keep going. But uh, I think, I think this is a blessing to disguise. Don't panic. I hope you didn't get stop lost. Um, if you did, it's still okay to buy back in, like take the money, buy back in at a very slight loss and bring it up because I think things are coming back up. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Like if you liked it, subscribe, um, hit the notif notification bell so you see whenever I'm dropping a video. Uh, and again, like always, until the next time, peace.